Well, excuse me. <laughs> well, hello, friends and soul family. Beautiful rising. Good afternoon and or lovely evening to you wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is our daily chakra energy reading and today is Friday, May 12th of 2023. So happy, fantastic, fabulous Friday to all of you out there. I hope that you are all so very well. So yeah, I was, <laughs> when I opened my window today, I looked out and there was a squirrel that was standing out like on the edge of the grass, like looking out into the street like I don't know what it was looking at but it was just standing on its back legs and it was just like looking and it was the cutest and funniest thing <laughs> that I was just like what is the message in that and as I watched it it like been like a couple minutes not a couple minutes like um it then decided to cross the street and so I'm like was it looking <laughs> for something across the street before it went over there or like what but it was just so funny and so cute that I was just like okay I guess I have to say something about that but you know how squirrels down their back legs and look that's exactly what it was doing and it was just perfect because it was right as I was like opening up my window to just look out and there's just a squirrel standing just looking into the distance and I was like that is so cute and so funny so I feel like like the message in that is about Like, I feel like it means just to, like, set goals and intentions and plans for yourself um, and allow yourself to see those goals or to see where it is that you want to go and then go for it. So, yeah, that cute little squirrel. And then I started thinking about, like, how did squirrels just, get, how did squirrels come about? Like, what did they evolve from? Like, <laughs> is there a galactic version of them where they're, like, six feet tall and, <laughs> like, got these bushy tails, but, like, full, like, man size, you know? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why that has got me laughing so hard, but yeah, like, because then would you still think that they were cute? Like, of course they would still be cute, but they'd be like huge, like bigger than you with these little swishing tails. Oh my gosh. Like, would they still climb trees? <laughs> oh gosh, yeah, I don't know. That has got me laughing so hard today. <laughs> Oh, okay, so anyways, all of my readings are intended to be timeless, meaning whenever you have found this video <laughs> is when you're meant to hear the message. So if your guides have led you here, your spirit, your ancestors, your higher self, the divine, or even if someone has shared this video with you and you decided to watch it, then there is a message here for you. So let's get into our chakra energies for today. Okay, finally one decided to stay flipped. Okay, and fell. All right. So, wow. <laughs> this is another great one. So, this energy, I think we got it earlier this week, or was it last week? Let me let me check my notes because I feel like 
we got this same card. Oh, no, this was last week. So, here we go. Secondary Chakra, Yang, card number 86. I make friends with my inner warrior. I make friends with my inner warrior. So, you saw all the shuffling <laughs> that I did. And so, this card coming out again this week for us means that we are being guided to once again take a look at our inner warrior and make friends with it. Um, and so this reminds me, so it's funny because um, a conversation that I had yesterday was like about one of my nieces apparently is like getting bullied or whatever in school and it is somebody like calling her names but before that there was another bully that was bullying her so my niece has the energy of uh, that attracts bullies to her so like when I he see this card now just like after hearing that I feel like this is some the energy that she needs or the energy that anybody who feels that they are being pushed around or being bullied in their own sense or even being overlooked to make friends with your inner warrior to make friends with the part of you that fights for you so however it applies to you within your own journey it could be like I feel like we all have somebody in our lives who whose energy does not resonate with us or who our energy doesn't resonate with and that irritates them and makes them treat us <laughs> certain ways and we just if we are friends with our inner warrior then we don't have to worry about what that energy says or does or anything because we know that the warrior within us will <laughs> will pretty much come out <laughs> when it's needed and so I feel that when you carry around this peace and this love with the warrior that's inside of you then other people will see that and they will make their own adjustments accordingly so that was one thing one thing that I had mentioned to my mom as she was telling me this was that maybe my niece should take a like a boxing class or like a martial arts class or just something to get her in tune with her own inner warrior that part of her that makes herself that's going to be able to make herself feel safe and secure in her everyday life so let's read it 86 I make friends with my inner warrior excuse me meaning yes there is a warlike aspect within you your inner warrior he may be many things violent brutal but also protective assertive steadfast strong and power conscious orderly and disciplined strict and ascetic vital and healthy, sporty and tough, chivalrous and fiery. Which of its qualities manifests itself in your best interest and those of everyone involved depends on you. If you immediately become afraid of his characteristics and declare them to be superficial and bad, your spiritual path and therefore also your happiness will wind up at a dead end. Instead, find out the ways in which his abilities can be meaningfully applied and use them. Study the tasks of warriors in the cultures of native people, the Japanese samurai, and the medieval knights. Learn to live your warrior power in a constructive, conscious way. 
It is always within you. And as long as you do not look at it and learn to deal with it, it will tend to express itself in a more destructive, disharmonious way and get mixed up in situations at the wrong time. Healing Stone, Opal, Fragrance Essence, Cypress, Box Flower, Water Violet. So, yeah, study the ways of warriors. Um, I've just been watching the Viking series again. Like, I had started watching this series, like, years ago, as in there was one point that I didn't get past, and, like, it was, like, two different times that I had started watching the series and then literally did not get past this one point. I finally made it past that point. <laughs> so I felt so very triumphant. I feel so good <laughs> that I finally made it past that point. But again, just watching like these shows does help us to get in touch with our our own inner warrior. It helps us to, you know, see the strength of the people that are around us and see the strength that we can find within ourselves as well. So However, your inner warrior manifests itself or shows his face, it's up to you, like it said in the um, like it said in the book. So in what way do you need to make friends with your inner warrior? In what way do you need to or even what situation or what person or what you know, idea needs your inner warrior to be present so that you can be in your most powerful, most happiest, um, and best way about you. So that is the message for this fantastic Friday. I hope that you all learned something or resonated, found something that you resonate with. And if you did, then please feel free to like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below if you so choose. Thank you all so very much for being here. I love you and I appreciate you. And I will see you in the next one.